There are Miss Emily walks in. Gives, she closes her book. Sets it down. Look at that. She's like, she wants her full attention on Miss Emily there. This is what they were talking about in the file. She's not discreet. Look at her. She's just staring her Good down. Good evening, Miss Hartwood. <laughs> that is your name, isn't it? I would be terribly embarrassed if it wasn't. Sure you would. You're right. Emily Hartwood, Jeremy's niece. Nice to meet you. Ruth. Ruth Talon. See? Look at that. I keep Is laughing every time I see that. <laughs> terribly quaint. Maybe so. But I like it. Look at that. She rubbing her knee. Some? That smell is making me feel very nostalgic. Uh-huh. She just want to get every little touch in possible. Look at that. She's like a predator who found her prey. <laughs> Is it all that you hope for? I enjoy your light mockery, Miss Hartwood. <laughs> I can tell we would make great friends. Sure, yeah. How flattering. Too bad you're locked up in this place. We know what you want, Ruth. <laughs> your I know what you want. Refreshing. I wish you were mad as I am, then you could stay. She's not actually years, crazy. I might just be. Lunacy is one of my family's few privileges. <laughs> oh good, I'll be looking forward to it. She keeps staring her down. You see that? You like, no she's just like, she wants this woman. Everyone here is really strange. And it's hard to know what to make of anything you hear. Occasionally, it sounds quite exciting, though. Good versus evil and all that. I'm sorry, but I don't think I have anything useful to share. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the much-needed break. Bon voyage. OMG. That is just the most flirtiest exchange ever. Of course this woman, Miss Ruth, will love it if Emily was locked in this facility with her. Like, damn. Lost plantations are we don't need to read that. Are Let's exhaust the dialogue. A Brightness from Afar by Lord Boleskin. It's actually not bad. You know where Detective Carnby is? Oh, you don't need him. You're doing fine. You see the jealousy she has? I should probably go. Until next time, Sherry. <laughs> see that? She just picks her book right back up. Well, if it isn't my new best friend. Uh-huh. Join me for some giggle water. Giggle water? Oh my god, I forgot she said that. Uh, Ruth? That is gonna be my oh, new Ms. word Hartwood. for booze. Don't giggle water. Swinging without me. Ruth, what is this place? Where are we? Have you never been to the Maccabean before? Goodness me. Tell me, Miss Hartwood, have you ever considered going out for an evening? Are we in New Orleans? Oh, who can tell anymore? I just went inside the grand parlor and suddenly here I am. Oh my god, she just the shoved parlor? the cigarette in her mouth. Can like, here you go. Here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to? 
We could stay here and drink the night away. How about a gin fizz? If this is New Orleans, maybe I should go further. Find that magic show the book was talking about. But there was no address, just Craig's shipping company. Oh, is this about where Jeremy met the dark man? How do you know about that? <laughs> Jeremy talked a lot about the dark man. I always felt a bit envious. How so? If an all-powerful entity showed me any interest, I'd at least hear him out. I'm sure he has plenty, plenty to, to offer. offer, of course. I don't think you'd want that, Ruth. We're too sweet for such darkness. <laughs> oh, please. What kind of blue nose do you take me for? I relish the darkness. I think it suits me. <laughs> You don't happen to know how to find the Preg Shipping Company, do you? Of course. Their office is just over there. Whoa, what happened? You know, of course she would say, you like, I would enjoy the darkness more. Because regardless, you can hey, be do yourself. You know where my uncle is? Which is sad. No, but I bet you're close. I'm like, she should be able to be herself. No matter what path she chooses. I'm in his temple. Why? It's what I see when I close my eyes. Are you afraid? No. Not anymore. Please stay strong.